Hey, Hadley, what day is today? National Plant a Flower Day. Yes, so we thought it would be a lot of fun to celebrate by drawing a flower. Yeah? Mm -hmm. What kind of flower are we gonna draw? A tulip. A tulip, a really cute tulip. We hope you're gonna follow along with us. You got a marker and some paper. Paper. You ready to start? Yes. Now, first step in drawing the tulip, and we've drawn a tulip before, but we thought it would be fun to draw it again, right? Yes. We're gonna draw a letter U at the top of our paper. And we're just gonna draw a cool letter U, like that, right? Right in the middle, but towards the top. So like right about here. Yeah. Oh, that's a pretty U, letter U. Okay, now we're gonna draw a line, a diagonal line, that's right here for the first petal. They kind of look like roses. They kind of do, yeah. Mm -hmm. Good, now we're gonna draw a line that comes down and almost turns into the letter Y. You see the letter Y? Yes. Now inside we're gonna draw an upside down V. And we did it. Mm -hmm. We're all done. Well, let's draw this the stem. stem. <laughs> okay, now we're gonna draw two lines that come down for the stem. We're gonna draw them right next to each other. Perfect. One right next to it. Yeah. Now we could draw a leaf right next to it. So we're gonna start here. We're gonna draw a curve. Whoa. It comes up really tall. Is that cool? You can come all the way up to there. Yeah, then we're gonna draw a line coming back down. All right, we did it, Hadley. We finished drawing our tulips and yours turned out perfect. <laughs> now, we're gonna draw a pot because sometimes it's too cold to plant flowers outside around March 12th. <laughs> so usually you can plant your flowers in a pot and then when it gets warmer, you can move the flowers outside. Yeah. So let's draw a pot. Okay, we're gonna draw the top of our pot and we wanna draw 3D. So we're gonna start above our stem right here. And we're gonna draw, watch this, what? It's like it's digged in a hole. Yeah, it looks like it's coming out of a hole. This is the top of our pot. And it looks like a circle that's been sat on and squished. <laughs> <laughs> so we could start right here, and then we're gonna draw a sideways. You could think of it as a sideways U. Look at that. Looks like the letter U that's or been squished. Oval. Yep, or an oval that goes all the way around. So start here, we're gonna come out, and then we're gonna connect down at the bottom, come out further, and then back in. Yeah. Good job, Hallie, you did awesome on drawing that little squashed circle. Now, it's okay that our drawings look different, right? Yes. Yes, don't worry, because the most important thing is... To have fun. Yes, to have fun and to... Practice. Practice. It's okay if your drawings don't look exactly like ours either. Just remember to practice. Ready to keep going? Mm -hmm. All right. Now we're going to draw two lines on each side, and they're going to come down just a little ways, just short little lines, and they're kind of tipped at the bottom. Yep. Next, we're gonna draw a line that connects these two lines, but we wanna match this top line right here. So watch this, this is gonna match the top of the pot. Whoa. Is that cool? Mm -hmm. They look like they're going right next to each other, so we're gonna match that same line. Well, I, I like that you even went up in the middle. <laughs> Good job. Okay, now we're gonna draw, we're gonna repeat that same step, except we're gonna come in and we're gonna draw longer lines. Now it's looking like a pot. Yeah, doesn't that look like a pot? Mm -hmm. Okay, and then we want these to match and we want them tipped in at the bottom. Yes, and then one on the other side and tip it in. Now we're gonna match this line with this line up here also. So we're gonna curve it. See how it's curved the same? Now the reason why we drew these lines curved is so that our pot looks round or 3D. If we drew them straight, it would look flat. It looks like it's real. Yeah, it does. It looks very realistic. Okay, now we're all done drawing our pot and our tulip, except we still need to do one last thing. What is it? Color. Yeah, it's going to look so much better colored in. Now this part we're going to fast forward, but you guys at home can pause the video and match the same coloring at the very end.
Have a good job on coloring your tulip. It turned out awesome. And what was your favorite part? The dirt. The dirt? Yeah, we added dirt. We didn't have that before. We just added a little bumpy line and then colored it brown. We hope you had a lot of fun drawing your tulips. Yes, we do. We hope you had a lot of fun drawing your tulips. And we hope you had fun celebrating National Plant of Flower Day. It's the best time of the season because it means it's getting warmer. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. We'll see you later, our friends. Bye -bye. Goodbye. If you had fun following along in this lesson, be sure to subscribe to our YouTube channel by clicking the circle. Then you can click the bell to get notified every time we upload new videos. I've also picked out these two other lessons I thought you'd really enjoy. Don't forget to take a photo of your child's finished artwork and share it on Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter because we want to see how awesome it turned out.